Sure. My name is Dawn. I attend um, Hillsong, Connecticut. I was born and raised in Stanford. Grew up in a Catholic home. Married with three kids. I'm now a single mom of three. And I own a coffee shop in Stanford. It was the morning of October 4th, and um, I can remember the day like it was yesterday, that it was fall, the air was crisp, the sky was blue, and I had brewed coffee and I didn't have cream. So I snuck at the house and went to the store, which was two minutes from my house. I was at the traffic light, my light turned green, and I went to turn left, and a car blew through the red light, and I was T-boned. He came two feet into the driver's side. The car spun across and hit the wall, and I found myself sitting on the curb. Out of my shoes and my glasses were off, and I was just like, all I wanted was cream for my coffee. I remember them coming up to me asking me, you know, who can we call? And I said, I am a single mom of three and they're sleeping, they don't even know I left the house. I think they expected me to be mangled and in pieces, and when they brought me in, I think everybody was shocked that they actually let me go two hours later. For that moment, um, I knew it was Jesus, and my life has never been the same. I think that day I told everybody about Jesus. You know, literally. So that was a miracle. And I think the people around saw it. I didn't realize what was wrong till about a year after because I looked fine. Traumatic brain injury is, you know, from the inside. After my accident, we lost, I lost my house. I lost my job. My IQ was an 84. In the midst of that, I didn't know what to do. And he woke me up one night um, at midnight and I wrote a creative brief for four and a half hours about a coffee shop. And at that time, I didn't have two nickels to rub together. And I was like, is this really you, Lord? And I knew that it was him. You know, I don't know anything about coffee but to drink it. And he said, just be a light and um, I'll draw the people in. He asked me just to give people hope. Humboldt is on Hope Street. God put me on Hope Street. And that's where we host connect groups, just sharing stories, doing life together. And you know, it's so important to have people and friends around that if one of us do fall, you have someone there to pick you up. You know, my faith healed me. And now I get to have this awesome coffee shop that's giving such hope to people, you know, in such a dark place. And it's just better together.